This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review, soon to be renamed the Crude Life Daily Update. My name is Jason Spies, and I'm your host today. On today's episode, we talk with Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings LLP as he discusses a recent article where he challenges the Wall Street Journal and their piece on fracking and evaluations of companies in 2019, oil companies in 2019. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings right here on the Mondak Oil Field Review, soon to be called the Crude Life Daily Update. Jason Spies, the most trusted voice in the Bakken. I totally agree with you, and the word that you brought into this is fact. You tell the facts, and then you let people make up their own minds. If you want someone who's competent, you don't want to get a bunch of rookies. Love listening to Jason Spies on the radio, and if I miss him there, I catch him online. Let's bring in Jason Spies, who is a multimedia journalist in North Dakota. Um, Jason, what's your thought on this? No one does an interview like Jason Spies. Welcome back to the Mondak Oilfield Review, soon to be renamed the Crude Life Daily Update. My name is Jason Spies, and I'm your host today. Up next, Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings, LLP. You know, essentially what they're arguing is that over time, you know, it seems like the market has moved away from from the way that they valued oil and gas companies in 2007 to where where we are today, right? They're, they're, the market's valuing these companies at historic highs and you know basically they're they're saying well you know it's because the industry is creating this all this propaganda and and false uh you know analysis of their proved reserves which is you know about as far from the truth as as you can get and you know the other disappointing thing about the article is that you know at the very top it had a had a figure you know that they that they had made, I guess, but you know, it only had about six companies on there, um, which really skews a lot of the analysis. A lot of the rules and regulations have changed over the past decade. How does that play into all this when it comes to evaluating and coming out with uh, even prognosticating what's going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. So that's a that's a really good point. Um, you know, the the SEC came out with a with a ruling uh, December 31st, 2008, and they, they came out with a, a, a new rule that essentially revised the disclosure requirements for oil and gas companies, you know, related to their reserves. To listen to the full-length interview with Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings LLP or to listen to other full-length interviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. The Mondak Oil Field Review will soon be called the Crude Life Daily Update. For more information, check out the website, thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. From the staff at the Crude Life Media Network, my name is Jason Spiesk, asking you to keep calm and frack on.